the West Coast is being rattled by four magnitude quakes, 4.2, 4.0, 3.9, 3.9, within hours. And this is not far from, of course, California, Oregon, Washington. Basically, it's south of Alaska, it's uh, Canada, but we know that this area is very close. Many times those quakes hit down to California. Remember that the 6.2 earthquake that hit in Bella Bella, North Vancouver Island, 13 hours later struck at Ridgecrest with a 6.4 magnitude quake, and the next day on July 5th, the 7.1. And that happened again in 2015. There was a 6.2 quake north Vancouver Island in Canada, and that struck with a moderate sized earthquake in Ridgecrest 24 hours later. But let's see the map together. Okay, here we are at the um, Canadian earthquakes map. And now if you look at the Seismo Berkeley, you notice that they're not even on here. They're not even on here. Well, you have a few here, that's fine, but these are the small ones. Where are the other ones, the big ones? Where are the big ones? Where is this one? It's not even on the Seismo Berkeley map. This is 4.2 magnitude, zero kilometers depth in Alaska, Yakutat, Alaska. And uh, this was at 1410 UTC. This was at 1526 UTC at 4 magnitude, again in Alaska, Sitka, Alaska. Where is it on this map? It's not even on there. That's Canada, that's not Alaska. But you see that even that is in Canada. That's, those are big, those are 4 magnitude quakes. Then we have, these are of course in Canada, though this is Alaska again. Sitka 3.9 at 8.12 in the morning and this one was at 5.38 in the morning. This one is in uh, British Columbia, Port Hardy, British Columbia, 3.9. So you have all these basically four magnitude quakes all along the coast. And they're not even marked here. They're not even marked here, which is Alaska. These islands are Alaska. So uh, we can see that something is happening there. It seems like there's a lot of pressure that has had to be released. We've had another small quake around Montreal as well, Quebec, 2.3 magnitude. We remember that this had a super volcanic eruption of a VEI-9, the biggest in the world, was there, right there. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, in the meantime, the earthquakes around the west coast are moderate sized. The geysers is always having, that's the biggest um, geothermal plant in the world is located there at the geysers. And of course we have all this around Yellowstone as well. So that's what I wanted to show you. Something is happening here with all these four magnitude quakes. and. Uh, it does some, sometimes they do this one here, the 3.9, which is basically, let's pan in a little bit and you'll see that it's basically North Vancouver Island. And we, so we'll call it a four magnitude quake, North Vancouver Island right here. This is where we had the quakes that struck in Ridgecrest. We know that the fault lines there the fault lines there. Okay. Uh, I panned out too much. Okay. Uh, these fault lines go around here. And uh, all along San Andreas. And that's the weak point in which Chris is where they hit. Because San Andreas is locked with the garlic fault. And the stress hit at the weaker point, which is around. The uh, Walker Lane fault system, which is not one fault, it's many faults put together. And at Ridgecrest is where, in 2019, that pressure was released, just like it was released in 2015. 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquakes around here. 
here as we see around here, Bella Bella, Canada, north of Vancouver Island, and that hits around here, around Ridgecrest, California. Somehow the pressure goes down. So please be careful. Uh, we've had the four magnitude earthquakes here. A lot of pressure being released and a lot of faults being jolted, obviously, because of that. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.